Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to do a book review on the problem of high frequency trading by Haim Bodek. Um, I actually emailed Haim and asked for this book. Uh, he sent me a copy so I could review it for them. Um, just to dive in here, Haim Bodek has some great documentaries that he's been in. I'm going to put them below as well. Uh, the Wall Street Code by V Pro Documentaries. It's one of my favorite quant finance related kind of videos or movies. Uh, anyways, and it's going to talk a little bit about uh, high emotic and a lot of the issues going on in the markets. Um, this book specifically is a very quick read at around 100 pages. Um, it does not cover high frequency trading in a general sense. Um, the book is specifically focused on regulation in MS and a lot of the issues with it and how high frequency traders and exchanges have basically created a corrupt, toxic environment um, where they're front running orders and more or less cheating the system, and this has been going on for a while. The SEC was brought in. There's been some changes and adjustments since 2012, but again, equity markets have been toxic since 2007, I believe, when this actually was implemented. And so this book has a good information on how um, these problems have arose. And then Haim Bodek also provides details on how he proposes that we fix a lot of these issues. I don't necessarily agree with all of them, but I think he has some really good points, especially as someone who's a market expert. And then something that kind of drove home for me is I'm not a trading guru by any means. Um, this book has a lot of like terminology and stuff you're probably gonna have to look up. Um, as you dig deep though, a lot of this stuff in this book is not online um, or even like on the news. All the news is talking about high frequency trading, you know, speed matters, it's all about speed. Um, this book goes to talk about how speed only plays a very minor role, especially when you come into different order types and way that the exchanges are set up and how they only marketed specific products to very specific high frequency trading funds. They did not provide documentation or information to others on how to use these. And so it created an unfair advantage or in trading, they like to call it, it created edge. Um, so this drove it home for me a lot because I actually sat on a trading floor in Chicago for a day um, through a friend that referenced me and I was able to go and kind of talk to some people there and see what they did. Um, they traded mainly options and they started telling me about, you know, we don't trade equities. It's a big pain in the backside. It's a hassle. Um, there's all this paperwork. You have to essentially make sure that the price is equivalent on different exchanges and then you have to do all this stuff and it's a hassle. We just don't even want to deal with it. And so I'm like listening to this firm way back when thinking, oh, interesting stuff I didn't really know. And then as I'm reading this book, right, I'm getting into the details. It's like, ah, this all makes sense. This is why a lot of these funds are getting out of the equities markets. Um, as he points out in the book, and if you Google online as well, others like Wall Street Journal, for example, have done uh, small pieces on it, but large percents, and I think I saw online like 40% of the trades that are going on in the equities markets weren't even exercised in the lit exchanges, meaning like the ones that are online that everyone's trading in, that 40% is being done behind closed doors, like in dark pools, and it's basically done um, off the exchanges to avoid the high frequency traders. They've caused massive issues the way that the regulations are set up. Anyways, my rating for this book, if you're looking for something that's very, very specific, uh, very detailed, something interesting to read, something to learn about exchanges and markets and trading, um, I think this is a five out of five star book. I really, really enjoyed it. If Again, if you're looking for a book that's like how to do high frequency trading or like general market structure, like the how to's and intricacies of like why markets are set up the way they are, this book is not gonna be for you. Uh, it's really just understanding one problem, which is the regulation in MS and a lot of like the Q jumping that was going on. Anyways, so this book is really good and it does a great job at kind of just laying out the details of regulation in MS. If you're looking for something else though, something that's more general, this is not going to be the book for you. Um, I wouldn't waste your time. But for me, this was extremely fascinating. Um, I'm really into trading in general. I've loved like learning about it. I've always wanted to be a trader when I was younger. I work in risk management now, but overall I think this is a great book if you're looking to read it. It's very cheap, it's brand new, it's paperback, it's $9.99 on Amazon and I'll throw a link below. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.